I was going to respond a different way, but I gathered myself and I decided to respond this way. Um, first of all, I feel like you waited too late. I told you back in December you should capitalize off the situation, so I feel like that's a bad move. I also feel like um, it's a green move for, you know, your label to have you. You do drop the interview the same the same time you dropping a new song. I feel like y'all kind of showing y'all hand. I feel like y'all should have put that together better. I also feel like, you know, before we got on your brother ass, you were just at the London with me that whole week getting busy. And, and I also feel like you should tell them folks the real reason why I put you out is because you were stalking my other baby mama and that shit was affecting, you know, my relationship with my, with my princess, my big girl. And that's why I had to make the adjustments. You know, back in November, you know, I'm I'm grown, I'm an adult, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to coexist with nobody who, you know, who too toxic for me and who, you know, who don't serve me well, you know what I'm saying? So, I owe the world no explanation for that. But even, you know, when I could have cleared my name, I took the high road and I ain't tripping about that. I'm proud of that. Because I could have smashed on all that, but that would have, you know, that would have left shorty, you know. And I ain't with that. I don't want shorty broken. I just... Didn't want you around me no more, you know what I'm saying? And just like today, you know, I was gonna have another birthday party for my princess. You didn't got on her line, playing. Just like before, you affected my relationship, you know, with my other children. Cause now, you, you see, you call you stuff over here. You, you only you need to stay over there where you at. You see what I'm saying? But sell your records, do your thing. And there's a whole lot more I can say, but I'm not going to say none of it at all. It's all good. I just want to get on here and just speak my peace. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking my peace all year. I'm speaking my peace all 2022. You see what I'm saying? And so now I'm going to go get back on set and get back to work. I call my baby in a minute. Hopefully, he let me talk to her. So, nigga. I... It was toxic. Mm -hmm. You know, we had our really good times. and we I had, was going to say, it doesn't start ever start toxic. No, we were like this in the beginning. Like, we were in love. Like, that honeymoon phase, like, you know, it was really good. We both were kind of at our peak of our careers, too. Like, I had Rolling Loud. He had Rolling Loud the next day. Like, it was just always, like, we were always both so busy. It was good. And then, of course, he had his little mess-ups and stuff. So, we break up for a month and then get back together mm -hmm. and then... Again, we break up. We broke up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of on and offs going on. But during that time, I definitely wasn't his side piece. Um, and he knows that, too. Mm -hmm. But I felt like when I spoke to him, he told me, like, the night before I was doing the most when it comes to, like, crying and all this stuff, how I felt. And mm -hmm. I guess he said what he said out of anger and tried to.